Hello you! Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about my Anmac application. If you're gearing up to embark on this journey, stick around because I've got some valuable tips and insights to share based on my own experience. First things first, ANMAC stands for Australian Nursing and Midwifery Accreditation Council. If you're pursuing Australian PR through skilled migration like I did, ANMAC accreditation is a crucial step in the process. Preparation is key. Before diving headfirst into your ANMAC application, meticulous preparation is key. Gather all your essential documents ahead of time, ensuring they're neatly organized, complete, and ready for submission. Remember, ANMAC requires all documents to be submitted within a 12-month time frame. Documents should be in PDF format and photos in JPG or PNG version. And ANMAC recommends that applicants submit all the requirements at the same time. Proof of Identity for proof of identity, included there is a biodata page of my passport and a recent passport quality photo. Qualification For qualification documents, I compiled my university diploma, transcript of records, and my competency assessment program certificate when I did my bridging course here in New Zealand. For the work experience, they have a specific format and information that should be included in your reference letter. I needed to have all my work experience validated so I can acquire points when I apply for the Australian Permanent Residency Points Tested Stream. Here are the information that should be included. They also have a reference sample on their website. There should be an official letterhead which should include the contact details such as address, telephone, email, and website. And then the next line would be the date it was written and the letter should be addressed to Anma. Followed by that is my full name. The first paragraph of my reference letter stated that I was employed and when my employment commenced and ended, and also the hours of work. The second paragraph is the body of the reference which included a detailed information of the ward setting, detailed information of my nursing work and tasks, and examples of competence in carrying out my nursing work. After that is the name and designation of my referee, and then their designation. By the way, according to ANMAC, your referee should be your nurse supervisor. Make sure to give a heads up to your referee so they are aware that they will be receiving an email from ANMAC. ANMAC sends an email to your referee to confirm whether they were the one who wrote the reference letter. So be sure that their contact information is updated. When you upload your work experience documents in the ANMAC portal, also include evidence of payment such as two payslips and or tax statements. Also include your contract and your certificate of employment. Certificate of Good Standing I used external services to request for my certificates. I enlisted Doctifix, they have a Facebook page, to acquire my Certificate of Good Standing in the Philippines. I sent Doctifix a message, then they asked me to book an appointment using my Lyris account. I also made an authorization letter saying that their personnel can collect my Certificate of Good Standing on my behalf. They then sent the document to ANMAC through DHL. For my registration in Saudi Arabia, I requested it through Mamaris and Tawasul. According to Tawasul, if you already have a copy of your Certificate of Good Standing, they can send it to ANMAC. I don't have a copy of that certificate, so using my Mamaris account, I requested for my certificate and paid 300 SAR via credit card. And then I requested my certificate through the New Zealand Nursing Council on their website. It's very easy, very straightforward, and I think it cost me around 100 New Zealand dollars. Finally, my APRA. By the way, I applied for APRA months before my ANMAC application. I think I paid around 480 Australian dollars for APRA application, and then it was approved within five business days. So basically, this is the timeline of my ANMAC application. Please keep in mind that I started this one year 2022. And my timeline is a bit weird and jumbled. So I don't know, almost a timeline. So yeah, I started last November 28, 2022. I applied for ANMAC. As I've mentioned, gather all your documents first which was what I did before I applied for ANMAC. So starting November 16, I've already contacted 
um, different organization for my certificate of good standing. On November 16, the Saudi Council replied. And then on November 19, I enlisted DocuFix for my certificate of good standing in the Philippines. And from November uh, and from October 29 until September 11, I was gathering all my documents. So officially, I applied for ANMAC after gathering everything on 28th of November. For the ANMAC application, I think I paid 340 New Zealand dollars. So back to November 16, when the Saudi Council replied. They asked me to provide them with a copy of a certificate of good standing in a PDF format so they can send the copy to NMAC. So I just sent my certificate of good standing via email as a reply and then Saudi Council sent it to NMAC. On November 25, NMAC sent me a checklist which I already completed even before officially applying. Then, I uploaded all my documents to the NMAC portal. On December 2, Nursing Council of New Zealand emailed my verification of good standing to NMAC. On that same day, I also received um, an email from NMAC about their Christmas shutdown. On December 13, I sent them a copy of my OAT because at that time, it was still valid. Then January 1, 2023, I received an email from ANMAC that they have not received my certificates of good standing from the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, and New Zealand. I just sent them the proof that they were all sent and I think it turned out okay. On January 13, I received an email requesting for evidence that my employment was paid when I worked in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, we were not given copy of our payslips, as my contract already stated a fixed salary. I told the assessor about it, and then I sent them a copy of my contract. I explained to her that my salary is tax-free. Basically, I don't get taxed. I provided them with all my KSA documents and informed the assessor that if she is not satisfied with the documents I sent relating to my employment in Saudi Arabia. I don't mind if she disregards my work experience there, but thankfully she accepted my explanation and my work experience was validated. On January 17, I received an email that my employment was verified. On May 23, my ANMAC application was approved. That's it. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you want to know how I processed my Australian permanent residency visa um, subclass 189 through points tested stream, watch my second video. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye!